When we talk about great works of animation, we tend to talk about famous animated films. There's Walt Disney's classic cartoons, Max Fleischer's Superman, Ren and Stimpy, probably my neighbor Totoro deserves a mention as well. These are all big, important milestones in animation. But aren't we forgetting something? What about video games? Games are animated too, and they've made huge strides since the days of volleying a square ball between two paddles. Some of my personal favorite examples of the best gaming animations include Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, where you can watch Chun-Li throw a fireball. It's wonderful. Shadow of the Colossus, the bosses are Harry Housen good, and Prince of Persia with its fantastic rotoscoping technique. But with the exception of Don Bluth, who's better known for films like The Land Before Time and The Secret of Nim than his work on Dragon's Lair, video game animation kind of gets the short shrift. Of course, a few bad apples give game animation a really bad name. But by and large, game animation is worth celebrating. So for today's episode of Game Show, we're going to do game animation a solid. Before we find out what game animation does that is so unique and interesting, first we need to ask, what makes classic animation good in the first place? To find out, let's take a look at the techniques of a few of the art form's true masters. First of all, good animation conveys the personality of the character. As the famed Looney Tunes artist Chuck Jones says, if you can't tell what's happening by the way a character moves, you're not animating. So when Elmer Fudd wants to kill the wabbit, he moves like a man possessed, but after Bugs is dead, he weeps like a baby and moves like this. Good game animation operates on the same assumption. For instance, Wario is concerned with getting rich, so he greedily shakes coins out of the money bags he finds. Klonoa wants to live with his friends in the dream world, but sorry, this is real life. And so to Popinski, what a pompous jerk. The second mark of good animation is staging. This is according to Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas. They animated Disney films such as Snow White and Pinocchio, and also the scene of Lady and the Tramp eating spaghetti, so they know what they're talking about. Staging means the animation should work in concert with the background art to create a clear and dynamic picture. The fight with the elephant in Hohokam is a great example of this. The scene has the potential for chaos because A, you're fighting an elephant, and B, the game is made for hippies. And yet somehow everything exists in harmony. The background is static, so the animation of the elephant doesn't have to compete with it. A third thing classic animation has to get right is that bounce. In John Lasseter's SIGGRAPH paper, Principles of Traditional Animation Applied to 3D Computer Animation, he explains how physics can be used to make objects squish and stretch in believable ways. The example he gives is how Luxo Jr., aka the Pixar lamp, folds up as it lands and then stretches out as it hops upwards again. This is even more challenging in games because the animation needs to look correct no matter what the player does. Does. Some games use what is known as procedural animation to provide that perfect bounce. For instance, in Halo, you see the effects of momentum on the antenna and the turret and the shocks when the warthog skids to a hard stop. The slug cat in Rain World has tail physics, so if you crawl sideways over a hole, the tail flops down in it. If you run to the right, it floats to the left. So as you see, the rules to great classic animation also apply to game animation. But do games do anything with animation that cartoons just don't? In fact, they do. Great game animation both looks good and feels good. This is because game animation gives a sensation of tactile feedback to the player. Kyle Gabler, the artist of World of Goo, refers to this concept as juice. What Gabler means by juice is a constant and bountiful overflow of user feedback that makes a game feel alive and responsive. Animation plays a huge role in this. For instance, check out how Alien Hominid has all these intense attack animations and perverse amounts of blood that flies out of enemies. Every button press is 
juicy. And the explosions in Luft Rousers rocked the entire screen like an earthquake. On the other hand, Dragon's Lair might have too much juice. You're getting a ton of visual feedback for a single button press, but it's basically 101 Dalmatians with quick time events. At its best, game animation is a dance between the game designer and the player. Another World gets this right. Notice how it uses animation to guide you through the game. Right after the opening cinematic, you find yourself submerged in water. Which way do you go? Well, the animation of the tentacles reaching up from the depths tells you probably not that way, so you swim up. Next, you see this majestic beast up on the cliffs. It runs to the right, so you follow after it. Then you run into the beast on the path and quickly realize following it might have been a misjudgment on your part because it wants to eat you. So you take off running back the way you came with the monster chasing you. When you reach the cliff, you make a leap of Faith. Grab the rope, swing around the monster, and continue fleeing on foot until you run into the aliens. The whole sequence of events is an elaborate interplay between your character's animations and the beast. The end result looks beautiful and feels good. And this is very new territory for animation. Classical animation was always about giving life to the characters. Chuck Jones once said that he had to think as Bugs Bunny, not of Bugs Bunny. But game Game animation is about giving life to the player and letting them feel alive through the experience on screen. And you don't even have to know how to draw, which is good because my talents have always lain elsewhere. What do you think? What games have amazing animation? Tell us your favorites. Hash it out in the comments and if you like what you saw, please subscribe.